Craniopharyngioma Introduction Craniopharyngioma is one of the most common supratentorial tumors in children and is derived from remnants of the Rathke pouch. The anterior pituitary, or adenohypophysis, develops from the outpouching of the roof of the oroectoderm, Rathke pouch. During normal embryonic development, apoptosis occurs at the base of the Rathke pouch, detaching the gland from the roof of the mouth. If the Rathke pouch remains, it can become a benign solid cystic tumor called craniopharyngioma. Approximately 50% of patients with these tumors present in childhood and adolescence, but some may not present until after 20 years old or even up to 70 or 80 years old. Craniopharyngioma Classification Adam Antinominus Type This type is seen predominantly in children and is the most common form. It consists of reticular epithelial cells, which have appearances reminiscent of the enamel pulp of developing teeth. There may be single or multiple cysts filled with thick oily fluid high in protein, blood products, and or cholesterol, creating the so-called machinery oil. Wet keratin nodules are a characteristic of histological feature. Calcification is usually present in 90% of the cases. They are more locally aggressive. It has higher rate of recurrence. Activating beta-catenin gene mutations are found in Adam antinominous tumors. Papillary type. The papillary subtype is seen almost exclusively in adults. It's formed of masses of metaplastic squamous cells. Wet keratin nodule is absent. Cysts do form, but these are less of a feature and the tumor is more solid. Calcification is uncommon or even rare. They are less locally aggressive. It has lower rate of recurrence. BRAF V600E mutations are observed in papillary craniopharyngiomas. Mixed type. 15% of them share imaging features and prognosis similar to the Adam antinominous subtype. Clinical manifestations. As the tumor grows, it compresses the optic chiasm, resulting in bilateral hemianopia and causes headache. These tumors can cause growth retardation in children by interfering with normal pituitary function, hypopituitarism. Clinical manifestations due to hypopituitarism include deficiency of growth hormone, which may cause growth failure in children. Central diabetes insipidus, due to low antidiuretic hormone secretion, low gonadotropins, luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, secondary hypothyroidism due to low thyroid-stimulating hormone secretion, or secondary hypocortisolism due to low adrenocorticotropic hormone. Note, hyperpituitary symptoms, increased hormone release, occur in pituitary adenomas, not in external compressing tumors like craniopharyngioma. Diagnosis Imaging MRI shows calcified cysts in the supracellar region. Biopsy. They have solid and cystic areas and are often adherent to the surrounding brain parenchyma with an indistinct interface. The cystic areas are filled with dark, thick fluid rich in proteins, blood, and cholesterol, and with an appearance of motor oil. Treatment. Essentially, two main management options are available for craniopharyngiomas. Attempt a gross total resection or... Perform a planned subtotal resection followed by radiotherapy or some other adjuvant therapy. Prognosis generally good with a 10-year survival rate of approximately 90%. However, the recurrence rate is high.